guys welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing really well if you don't know me then my name is kylie louise i am a mummy to one beautiful little girl named gabriella and i am currently 28 weeks pregnant with my first little boy who is due in december now as you can tell by today's title i am doing what's in my hospital bag for baby my video for my hospital bag will be up after this so do keep your eyes out for that video as that's going to be more in depth of what's in my bag but for now today for this video i'm just going to do what's in baby's bag so a lot of you are probably thinking wow you're, you're really organized or very impatient for baby to come because i'm only 28 weeks but i just like to be prepared because gabriella came two weeks early and i just want to make sure that i've got everything to a daughter rush from because obviously having gabriella full time like looking after a full time i'm not gonna really have the time to do these bags when I, gabriella's running around so i've got it packed ready it's all there just sitting there now waiting for baby's arrival hopefully in december he doesn't come any earlier but if he does then he does but anyway i'm just gonna get straight on with the bag now i've watched a lot of these youtube videos because obviously it being two years ago that i had gabriella i did forget what kind of things i needed in my bag so i re-watched some youtube videos and did notice that there weren't many uk versions of these online so i thought i'd do my own so baby's bag is here now i'm hoping i can get this here this is just a change of bag that i had when i had gabriella um this is the claire de lune i think that's what it's called hopefully you can see that um but i've had this baby bag since gabriella was about six months old because we had a tiny change bag for her and then obviously i decided to just like upgrade to a bigger one basically so i'm gonna get straight into what's in the bag so at the back of the bag here i have a changing mat obviously from the last clip it wasn't in there it's just because i had to quickly grab it um but this bag has like a few compartments if you hear gabriella then it's because she's on her baby monitor here so i do apologize it's just going down for a nap but as i was saying this bag has a few compartments so it has like a little one here at the back where your changing mat goes um and it also has the straps to clip onto the buggy and then it has like a sick compartment here which is like a smaller compartment and then a bigger compartment here and then big a uh, small another small compartment on the other side so in the back compartment here my bag wants to stand i just have a changing mat now my bag did come with a change mat but obviously using it with gabriella it got mucky and stained and it just got ripped so i just ended up throwing it and then i went to Pamland the other day and seen that they did some change, really nice changing mats so obviously i'm having a little boy so i've picked up this dinosaur version now i took a changing mat with me when i went into hospital with gabriella because I just like the thought of the changing mat. Obviously, the midwives don't really like you changing the baby on the bed in case you stay in the bed or something. And I took a changing mat with Gabriella, and I'm so happy that I did because that Maconian poo gets everywhere, like literally everywhere, and it's so sticky and horrible. And the changing mat literally it protected the sheets and stuff. So I'm taking this one at this time. Um, so yeah, I got this from Poundland. If anyone's interested, they also did like a unicorn design, but they're really nice thick qualities so they're really really good and again like if this one gets for one i don't mind checking it because it's a pound and i can just always go and buy a new one but before i get into the actual bag i just want to say i have overpacked for baby because when i gave birth to gabriella i actually got transferred to a different hospital from the birth center due to my temperature and then when gabriella was born she did have low blood sugar and she was on um an iv drip as well so i was in for almost a week with baby with Gab gabriella not baby with gabriella so i've packed just in case anything happens basically so i've overpacked because when i packed with gabriella i literally packed two baby girls thinking i was just going to be in there for the night um two baby girls two first two hats this that the other two of everything basically and a few nappies so obviously being a first mom i was panicking i didn't have enough and my partner had to drive an hour home just to grab me some bits for her because we were in there for a week um so yeah do bear in mind i have overpacked this time just in case anything happens again which i'm hoping not 
Right, we're going to start with the front to the bag. So in these two compartments here. So in the first compartment, obviously I have some nappies. And this bag does not want to stand because it's so full. So I have some nappies. These are the Pampers size ones. I literally swear by Pampers. Now I know there's not many people who really use Pampers. They mainly use Lidl's and stuff like that. Um, and Lidl's is very affordable, but I just don't like the way that they absorb. Um, I just don't think they're very absorbent, to be honest. Um, but I have packed some little nappies, just to let you know. Um, but yeah, I've packed, I think I believe there's 80 here, so size one that pampers nappies for baby because obviously you need those when you're in hospital um i think eight should be enough but like i said i've packed more in my bag so you'll see those in a bit but eight pampers nappies um, i have some nappy bags um obviously these are scented so you could use these for soiled clothes dirty nappies whatever you want to put in them they smell really lovely as well i love the smell of nappy bags but yeah, these are just in there, so obviously I can put the nappies in the bin um, and they don't stick the bin out or to put solid claws in so that it doesn't go all over the bag. I have the trusty water wipes that everybody raves about. Again, I use these for Gabriella um, and they do work on that Maconia poo a lot better than cotton wool and water because when I had Gabriella, the midwives actually bought me cotton wool and water to wipe her bum with because... I forgot to pack my wipes in my bag. I left them on the side in the house and I forgot to pack them in the bag. Luckily, my partner went home and grabbed them. Um, so the first night I had to use cotton wool and water and honestly, it was horrendous. The cotton wool was sticking to her bum and everything. As soon as my partner brought me these, these worked miracles. These literally just swiped the poo off and it was, I know it's disgusting to talk about it, but literally just swiped it off and it was done. So these are the water wipes. Obviously, everybody knows the 99.9% .9 water and a drop of fruit extract they're just really like wet wipes basically they're literally soaking um, and also these are good if i want to freshen myself up as well um while we're in there because we all know that labor is a messy thing so yeah these are for baby again to wipe his bottom with and then the last two things in the bag obviously i'm not really gonna need this hopefully when baby's born but this is the Metanium everyday barrier ointment protection from nappy rash and this is just a little, what size is this, 15 gram tube. This is in the bag mainly because it's going to stay in the bag anyway after baby's born. Um, so that's in there just in case. And then I have three little cotton wool pads because when Gabriella was born she had very sticky eyes and I had nothing to wipe her eyes with. So the midwives had to come every like two hours to sort her eyes out. So this time I'm just taking three little like cotton pads with me just in case baby has the same situation they're in my bag as well so that's everything in the front compartment um we're gonna go on to the little sip bit which is here um let's see what we got in here next for baby i have some muslin cloths or muslin cloths however you say it lots of people say it different ways i have two mainly because obviously these are going to get dirty um, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I don't know if I'm bottle feeding or breastfeeding baby yet. It all depends because Gabriella, she just didn't want to latch. So she ended up being bottle fed. Um, so I've got this design. I got these off eBay. I will try and link them down below if they're still available. Um, so I picked these up from eBay. They're quite big. I'm not going to fully unfold them because they're a pain in the ass to fold again. Um, so this one's just got like forest animal prints on. And then this one's like a grey colour with white and blue hearts on. Um, so mainly I got these, obviously, to either put over my shoulder to burp baby with. And if he's sick, he's not going to get my claws. To swaddle him in, to wrap him up in, or just to lay him on when he's on the bed, whatever. Um, they just come in handy anyway. I've packed two. I have more at home, so if I do need more, my partner can bring them in. Um, so yeah, they're the muslin cloths back pocket now so this is a little section at the back before we go into the main compartment because i think there's only one thing in here yeah in the back compartment is this little bag now you're going to see these little ziplock bags a lot in this video um because i just find them really handy now i did this with gabriella's um bag i put all her clothes well not all her clothes i put like some of her clothes in the ziplock bags and then the ziplock bags came in handy after like if she was sick because she was quite a sicky baby actually she was sick quite a lot and her clothes were getting dirty so I was just putting the clothes in here my partner just took them home with him 
um, so they do come in handy but in this bag anyway is some socks um three pairs of spare mitts and a spare hat um that's just obviously just in case i need them or baby gets his other ones dirty um gabriella actually wore these mitts a lot um in hospital because obviously i know most of the baby sleep suits now um come with the uh like admits attached like sewn in um but gabrielle obviously couldn't put those on her hands because she had an iv dripping so she had to wear these like ones she could take off basically just like these kind of mitts so i've taken those with me just as spares so that's what's in there now let's get into baby's main compartment this is jam packed as you can see i'm actually gonna pop this on the floor because it's gonna get in the way first thing on the bag is a cellulite blanket now hospitals especially if you're using the nh nhs they like you to take a cellulite blanket to wrap baby up because obviously the cellulite blankets have like little holes in so it makes it breathable for baby um it's so like a baby accidentally pulls it over their face they can still breathe so the hospitals like using you using those so i'm taking just this plain white one um, everything's been washed in my bag always make sure everything is washed before putting it on baby obviously because you don't want to um, like harm baby skin because baby skin's very delicate when they're first born so yeah, I'm just taking this white cellular blanket um, either to receive him in or to keep him warm in the hospital but obviously because he's born in December I'm sure the hospital will have their heating on anyway but that's just in there just in case going on to clothes which is the most exciting bit so again these bags come in handy so what i've done obviously when baby's born you're going to want a special first outfit for him now with gabriella she just wore a white vest a white sleep suit and a white hat um because that's what we thought we'd put her in and like the fest had the sleep suit had made with love on it it was really really cute i'll see if i can get a picture of her on the screen now what she first wore but this is going to be baby's boy's first outfit and on the front i've put baby's first outfit just in case my partner or the midwives have to go in my bag to get the outfit out for me um so in here i have this hat now i'm not going to turn this hat around because on the other side of the hat it has his name on so this is like a woolly hat. I just thought this would be great for when baby's first born because obviously they lose a lot of heat from their head when they're first born. Um, and obviously they put those knitted hats on them when they're first born if you don't have your own hat. So I'm taking a woolly hat with me with his name on so that when we take his first photo to obviously tell everyone, tell our family and friends that he's been born, his name is on his hat as well. And I just thought that's really, really cute. So that's what's in there. Obviously, I put a nappy in there as well because it's a lot easier than just rummaging for a bag for a nappy as well. So I've popped a nappy in there so it's a lot quicker. And then his actual outfit is not something like special. Like, obviously, it's just their first outfit. Obviously, it's their first ever outfit you're going to see them in. But I just love this, like, kind of baby blue, like, for boys. I just think it's gorgeous. So he has the baby blue vest. Now, I bought all my clothes secondhand. Like, I ever bought off facebook pages that are on or from charity shops and then i've just given them a good clean basically so i'm using this i'm going to take this blue vest and then he's going to wear the matching like blue sleep suit now this sleep suit is in first size so hopefully that should fit him because it goes up to let's have a look it goes up to 7.8 so seven pounds eight seven pounds eight ounces yeah <laughs> so hopefully he's not bigger than that um roughly the midwife thinks he's going to be about seven pounds maybe eight she's not 100 percent sure but i'm surely he'll fit into this but i absolutely love this it comes with the attachable mitts as well um but like i said if he does need a drip he can just always or an iv line as people call them he can just end up wearing the mitts that i've got in my bag anyway so that's baby's first outfit and if baby is a little bit bigger and he doesn't fit into his first outfit i've packed an up to one up to one month outfit sorry 
Um, so this is the up to one month, and it just says up to one month on it. Now, I've packed a bobble hat in here for a reason. I'll show you that in a minute. Because if obviously if he's bigger than I think he is, um, and he doesn't fit into like first size or newborn, obviously he'll be in it up to one month if he fits into it. So I've packed this outfit really if he doesn't fit into his like his first outfit or his grown home outfit. So this outfit here is basically just a spare outfit just in case any, none of his clothes fit him. So I'll show you what's in here. So first of all, we have some light blue little mitts because this uh, the sleep suit doesn't come with attachable mitts. We've got some mittens. I have two hats. So obviously, like I said, this outfit is in case he he doesn't fit into his going home outfit or whatever. So I've packed a little bubble hat in there just in case he doesn't fit into his going home outfit. Um, but this hat seems quite big, so hopefully it fits him. And then also, if it's just going to end up being a spare outfit or a first outfit, I've packed this little um, white hat with little stars on. Um, hopefully you can see that. If not, then it has little stars on and the little ears. So I packed two hats. So obviously there's two there. And then the, out the outfit is up to one month. So this is up to £10. Is it £10? Yeah, £10. Um, so he has a little white vest and then he has this this is like thicker than a normal uh, sleep suit would be so it's a little bit more warmer and then he has this little sleep suit I'm trying to get it in so that's really really nice I look like I said I really love this baby blue I think it's gorgeous so that's the up to one month outfit for you. And then the rest of the outfits I'm going to show you are just um, spare outfits. They're all in first size or newborn. So obviously I'm taking more of those than I am up to one month. If I need bigger clothes then my partner can just come home and get some. Um, but I'm packing some spare um, clothes like I said I explained to start of the video. So I have three spare outfits in my bag um, i'll go through each one for you so the first little outfit again these i haven't got nothing written on them because like i said these are just spare outfits um but in the first little spare outfit it has this white hat with gray let's say hat then this white hat with gray stars it has a white plain vest and then it has this little baby girl, which is grey, um, with blue arms and a car on it, which I think is really cute. And this one has the attachable mitts, that's why I've not really put mitts in that outfit. So that's one spare outfit down. The next spare outfit is in here. This is just like an all white plain outfit. Um, so in this outfit we have some little mitts these are just little white mitts with little animals on obviously they're not going to go with the outfit but they're just to protect baby's hands you know um stop him scratching himself he has a plain white vest again a hat that says precious baby on it just a plain white one and then the sleep suit doesn't have no attachable mitts, that's why I've packed mitts. And then just this little sleep suit, which has this pattern all over it. I just think babies look really cute in just an all white outfit. But obviously, because this is not all white, it's got a little bit of colour on it, it'll look really, really nice. That's the outfit. And the last spare outfit I've got is here. And this bag is ripped, I'm going to have to get a new one. Um, so these baby girls, baby girls, so these mitts ain't going to really go with the outfit. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. It's just to protect baby's hands. So these mitts say, I love daddy on. Now, Gabriella wore a lot of I love daddy things when she was first born because I just thought it was really, really cute because obviously dad doesn't always, well, her father didn't get to stay in hospital with me, unfortunately. I had to stay in on my own. So we had to pop in every now and again. So it was nice for him to 
go home and I come back the next day and see that she's got I Love Daddy stuff on it. So I just thought that's really, really cute. I also have I Love Mommy ones of these as well. I think I've got them in my spare bag of mitts. So I've just packed the I Love Daddy ones for this outfit. It has... What else do we have in here? We have the matching hat that goes with the outfit. It's a little Mickey hat. I have a white vest with little clouds all over it. I just think it's really cute. And then the outfit itself doesn't have mitts, which is the reason why I packed mitts. I have this little Mickey outfit for him as well. So that's really, really cute. So that's the last spare outfit. Last outfit I have to show you is the going home outfit. Now, I'm hoping this one fits in because I absolutely love his going home outfit. And I just think it's very, like, neutral and very cute basically um i actually ordered a hat a, like a bubble hat like a winter hat for him um and it came the other day and it's absolutely massive like it literally fits my daughter and she's almost two so i've not packed that in there so i do have to go out and buy him a hat to go with this outfit but like i said i have a, like i have two three months left yet anyway so i have his going home outfit here um, so for his going home outfit, he has a, a little pair of grey socks, he has some grey mittens, and then the outfit itself is absolutely bloody gorgeous. So, like I said, this outfit is, I think, I believe it's a newborn or first size, one of the two. Let's have a look. Well, it's not to one month so it should fit him um so it's this gray like vest top kind of thing on the arm it says i love you forever so it's this vest like vest top kind of thing um and then you have a matching pair of like little trousers which is the reason why i packed socks like the socks ain't the same color it's a little bit darker but it don't matter as long as it keeps his feet warm um so yeah these are the trousers they have like little wooden buttons on the front which i think is really cute i just think that's like a really simple outfit um and then i also have a jacket to go with that outfit as well which is in the bag in here somewhere um and this is the jacket he's going to be wearing so even if i don't get him a hat i don't end up finding him one or something he can just put the hood up on this and he should be totally fine but this is the little jacket he's got to wear with his outfit. I just thought it's really nice because it has that grey in. So he'll go with his outfit and it'll also keep him warm. So that's his going home outfit. If he fits into it, if he's not a little chubber. On to the last few things that are in the bag. Now, this is in the bag for now. I don't know whether I'm going to take it out just leave it in the car seat. But this is his going home blanket. So it's, I'm not going to open it fully, but... It's basically this furry soft, it's absolutely gorgeous. Gabrielle had a blanket like this when she was born for home in to go in her car seat. So it's just this blue and white striped blanket. I absolutely love this. And then on the other side, it has blue and white stars, but he's most likely to have blue and white stripes because I think that's gorgeous. So yeah, that's his going home blanket. It's like wrap him up in the car seat in the car because I won't be keeping his, he'll just be wearing his jacket in the car seat until we get into the car then i'll be taking his jacket off him and then wrapping him up with a blanket because i don't really want his jacket on him when he's got his belt on then i don't really need this but i'm taking it just in case um this is like a i think they call it a snuggly i think that's what my mum said it was because she bought it it's basically you pop the baby in he has a hood to cover his head and it basically just swallows him um i'm taking that just in case like his blanket gets dirty and it is a little bit cold, so I'm taking that just in case. Taking this snowsuit just in case it is a little bit more colder than I expected. This is a tiny baby though, so I don't know if this is going to fit him. Um, but it's just a cute little, like, I call them snowsuits. I don't know what you guys call them. Um, but this is just in case it is a little bit more colder outside. Um, but I don't want to put his jacket on. I want to proper wrap him up. So again, he'll just wear this in his car seat to go into the car and then he'll be taking it straight off um but if he does end up fitting into it then great but like i said it's tiny baby so i'm not too sure apart from there's two pockets two big pockets in here 
which has some things in. Sorry, my lighting's gone really weird. So the first pocket, sorry about my phone vibrating. Uh, the first pocket has this bunny in, this little snuggly. This used to be Gabriella's um, when she was born. She had a photo taken with it. Again, I'll pop the photo up of her on the screen now with it on, with, with it on, with it. <laughs> Um, so I, this is like a hand-me-down from his big sister um, as we've washed it and stuff so that's a hand-me-down from his little sister like his little sister his big sister and then in the other pocket like I said the, there's just one two three four size one little nappies just in case I need them and I run out of my pampers one so these are just backups that is literally everything in baby's bag the only thing I do have to pack now is a dummy because I packed one with Gabriella um, and it literally saved me because she was such a fussy baby um, and obviously I don't mind using dummies some people find it some people get funnier people using dummies but I don't mind it like I said Gabriella was quite a fussy baby and it calmed her down a lot so I've got to sterilize a dummy and put that in the bag I've also got to get some formula milk obviously just in case he doesn't latch or anything just so i've got some on me last time with gabriella my hospital um like equipped it equipped it like gave you formula milk there when you needed it so i didn't really have to go out or buy some with gabriella so yeah that's everything i need to pack so that's everything in baby's bag um if you do think i've missed anything for baby do comment down below and let me know but apart from that guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to look out for what's in my hospital bag, which is coming out after this video. And I shall see you all soon. Bye.